Hello everyone, welcome to the LeverX webinar series, a free educational service offered to SAP customers to inform and demonstrate SAP functionality and industry best practices to improve your business performance. Our webinar today is entitled SAP Engineering Control Center Interface to ePlan. This webinar will review how companies can integrate electrical engineering into their PLM process through the newly available integration of ePlan with SAP PLM. We will discuss the SAP Engineering Control Center strategy, an overview of ECAD solution ePlan, and a demonstration of a typical workflow for electrical engineers using ePlan and SAP Engineering Control Center. My name is Alan Mendel, Vice President at LeverX, and I will be the moderator for today's webinar. Before we begin our topic, let me briefly introduce you to LeverX. LeverX helps companies increase business value by leveraging existing investments in SAP solutions. So let me talk, start with the SAP Engineering Control Center strategy. I'll just briefly mention the new authoring tool integration strategy for SAP and then provide you a short introduction of Engineering Control Center. We have other detailed webinars available on our website that will provide a much more detailed look and discussion and demonstration of Engineering Control Center. So SAP embarked on a new authoring tool integration strategy in 2014. They provided an engineering control center through partnership uh, that provides a new harmonized user interface for all in tool integration. This one integration platform supports uh, mechanical design tools, uh, electrical tools, software tools, simulation tools and such and today we're going to specifically talk about the newest uh, integration along the electrical uh, design side of tools ePlan. It is also a platform for growth so that as SAP builds additional integrations with uh, tools for the engineering community that this uh, common platform can be leveraged and it is a strong enabler for providing full systems and engineering support for our customers. Hi everyone, this is uh, Edward Couch. I'm the Western Regional Manager for ePlan USA. Uh, ePlan is uh, a tool for de developing electromechanical uh, systems. Uh, just a little overview for ePlan. Um, we are a company that has been uh, developed since 1984, headquartered in Mannheim, Germany. Um, we are a, a top employer in that area. Um, the Friedhelm Lowe Group is the parent, which is about 11,500 uh, employees. And we have an international presence in uh, 50 countries, and the tools are developed in 17 different languages. We have over 45,000 customers and 110,000 installations, and we're more than 600 employees, uh, and we're expanding. Uh, we have three value chain, uh, or four uh, companies that are part of our, our overall parent company, uh, Cityon, which actually develops some of the electromechanical interfaces to SAP, ePlan, uh, which is our, our division, Rital, which makes electro, electrical mechanical closures, and Keesling, which makes actually the, uh, the manufacturing machines for wiring and uh, panel cutting. Start with a presentation where where Ed uh, Edward uh, ended. Um, <clears throat> yes, I want to, to pick up uh, the slide that uh, Alan used in his uh, presentation. So so we are talking now about uh, electric electrical design by done by ePlan directly uh, connected to the SAP Engineering Control Center and uh, <clears throat> having a bit bit closer look into this. Uh, um, the architecture looks a little bit uh, like this. So we have, uh, of course, uh, the backbone, which is SAP, PLM, SAP, ERP. And uh, as a layer in between, we have uh, the SAP Engineering Control Center, which links all the different disciplines together in, in one system. Uh, and underneath, we have the SAP Engineering Control Center interface to ePlan, which uh, also consists uh, of the ePlan ERP PDM integration suite. And this ERP PDM integration suite from ePlan is our universal connector, similar to the engineering control center to, to connect uh, to, to, to PLM. And this uh, integration suite covers a complete platform. That's what Edward was talking about. Uh, so it's not only 
uh, schematics that we are talking of uh, about. Uh, it's also fluid uh, pre-planning. It's also harness and uh, and pro panel. So the complete uh, platform of ePlan is covered, and with this, uh, the complete <coughs> electrical engineering process is covered by these uh, integrations. So what we will see later on uh, uh, in, in the presentation uh, that I, I give uh, is uh, the, uh, the access to, to the ECTI integration is uh, completely integrated in the ePlan user interface, means uh, for addressing SAP, the user doesn't uh, have to leave uh, his, his normal environment. <coughs> and uh, we are covering, uh, on one hand, uh, topics about document management, which means uh, storing and revising the native files as well as additional files uh, that we have uh, ability <coughs> to update and, and hand over a bill of materials, uh, and of course, uh, mapping uh, attributes between SAP PLM and ePlan design, or even between the ePlan parts database. <coughs> uh, what we also saw in the slides of Edward was that ePlan provides a lot of additional documents, might be connection list, cable list, uh, SPS program, uh, <coughs> uh, basics like I.O. lists, uh, and so on and so forth. And we are able to hand over all these reports or resulting documents uh, to be stored within the ePlan uh, SAP PLM system. <coughs> And even the <coughs> bill of material is handed over from, from ePlan to SAP, including reference designators for easily following up uh, in the schematics uh, and to synchronize between the bill of material and the documents that, that ePlan is, is providing. So I prepared a, a video about this, uh, and uh, let me just uh, lead you through the process. We are we are going to, to have. Uh, so we will start with uh, deriving a project. Project is the name of the ePlan native file based on a template, which is quite common uh, to, to electrical engineering. Uh, hand it over to ePlan, edit some, some properties, uh, check it in again, and then see what happens to the results in an SAP. <coughs> we'll change the status, and then in the second part, uh, look a little bit at the change management, so we'll revise the project, check it out again, edit some properties, uh, save it in between, edit some, some devices uh, within uh, the project, uh, hand it over, and see what happens to the results and, and how to compare the two versions to, to each other. <coughs> 